So what is oil? Let's talk about oil composition and oil additives. Well, here we have, if this pie was our typical oil, it'd be made up of around 75 to 95% of what we call base oil. Added to that is in fact an additive package, which we'll go through in a sec, eight to 15% typically, and viscosity improvers, five to 10% viscosity improvers, which determine the thickness of the oil, if you like, particularly as it goes up in temperature. Now, this additive package, detergents, dispersants, friction modifiers, oxidation inhibitors, anti-wear agents, corrosion inhibitors, and foam depressant. Now, one I wanna talk about here today, under this one, anti-wear agents, is zinc. Now, when we think about zinc as an additive, what it actually does, we draw steel at sort of the molecular level. It kind of looks like that. What the zinc does, it forms, or puts its little particles all around the steel like that. When the oil is under load, or when those zinc particles are under load and get hot, they form what's called a, a sacrificial glazing, if you like, and that, in fact, is the wear protection that you get against the steel in your engine. Now, what does it all look like? I reckon this is really interesting. This is base oil. It's in fact clear. That's what we start, that's the 75%. Then, the viscosity improvers are a polymer substance. Now, we often talk about the weight of engine oil, 30 weight, 40 weight, 50 weight. You can see how thick that is. You know, if there's such thing as 300 weight, that would probably be it. But that's a viscosity index improver. Then we've got a typical additive pack, and that could have a whole raft of things in it. Then your engine oil, as you pour it out of the bottle, ultimately looks like that. Now, importantly, what we do want to see, that's engine oil after 15,000 Ks. Now, I can say to you, if you pull your engine oil out and you think it's really good because it's still clean, that's not really good. Your engine oil, if it's working properly, because remember, it's got detergents in it, needs to look like that. So when we talk about zinc, there's a bit of chat around at the moment that maybe under new specifications and environmental policy and all the rest of it, that maybe there's not as much zinc or in fact no zinc in lubricants. Well, that's just plain wrong. It needs to be in there, it is in there, and I can tell you Penrite lubricants have the appropriate amount of zinc in them as determined by the specification and the correct use of that oil.